This is the best raised bed anybody could make for free. Easy and fun and so cheap. Hi everybody, this is Robbie from Southern California. And I'm gonna say that I think this is one video that everyone should watch. If you wanna grow something and you have no place to grow it, you have no yard, you just have a front door, you have no place, this is the video for you. And if you've got acres, this is still the video for you because I'm gonna grow here, even though I have two acres, I'm gonna grow right here food. And this little pad here, my front door is four by six. And that's more space than I need. I only need a third. This chair is going to be worth hundreds of dollars to me. This chair cost me nothing. I made Gary pull over, it was thrown away in the trash. Look at this, it's a wood chair, it's falling apart, and this chair is worth a small fortune to me. Why? Because I also found this in the trash. This too is going to be worth a small fortune to me. Anybody can do this, anybody. And if you can't bend over, this is gonna be the best garden that you've ever built. Now, first of all, let me emphasize a chair. Why a chair? No table. Don't pick up a table in the trash unless you want to put a couple flower pots on it. You see a chair in the trash, grab it. A chair is built to hold hundreds of pounds, right? It's meant to hold a person that's one, two, maybe even 300 pounds. So what you want is a chair. This is what you want. Even though the leather is falling apart on this, it's ready for the dump, not to me. This chair is gonna bring me in money for food for me instead of going to the dump. It's solid. This has got wooden legs, it's got a wooden back. I could take the back off, but I'm not going to. I have now built a raised bed. That's all you need. This chair can hold all the weight you wanna put in this tub. Now, if you're on a deck, if you've got a deck and you are concerned about weight, then go ahead and put inside styrofoam. You know, you might, might have bought a computer or, or a TV or something had styrofoam in the, in the box. You could use that because your roots are only gonna go down about that far. It's only using about half the tub when you're talking about vegetable plants. So you could put styrofoam. Is styrofoam bad? The research I've done is they really don't know. But it's not going to get hot, so it should be fine. Have you ever buried styrofoam? I did, and then unburied to see what it looked like. It didn't even look like it changed. They use a lot of styrofoam in Australia on raised beds. So I would say if you have to, load part of it up with styrofoam and then put your growing matter in. But this is all you need. You see a chair in the garbage, you see somebody throwing away a chair, grab it. now. If you want to do this and you're not, you don't want to wait till you find the chair in the trash, I guarantee you, I see them all the time at the thrift store, you can pick up a chair like this for $2, $3, they want to get rid of them. There's a lot of thrift stores that have these chairs for under $5. All you need is a chair, look at it and analyze it and think you want to put a tub on top and that's all you need. There's no stabilization, there's nothing. You've got a raised bed. You don't have to go spend hundreds of dollars on wood. You don't have to build anything. You know it's solid. This is what it was made for. It was made to hold weight. You can jump on this thing. You can have two or three people sit on it. That's what a chair was made for. So that's why I say a chair is the best thing for a raised bed. So here, you're gonna get a tub. Now, real quick, don't make any holes in the tub yet because you want to think about where the holes will work for you. So don't worry about that because if you're going to drill it, which you probably will, that can be done at any time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load it up. You want to find the place you want. And the reason I am using this teeny little pad here is because some people said my deck was too big. Oh, small spaces. That's not small. My deck is small. This is tiny and this can go anywhere. I am going to grow food right by the front door. So you set up your tub. There it is. And then I've got stuff from the garden. I've got shredded paper. So you start loading this up. 
load it up. The only thing you may want to buy is, let me get my gloves out, is potting soil. Now I can use broken down wood chips because we have a lot of it, but I'm going to use both. So I'm going to go collect some broken down wood chips and I'm going to also use potting soil because I bought it cheap for $4 a big bag. So I've got my shredded paper here and then I've got leaves I've collected from the garden. This is how simple it is. It's that simple. Don't have to get fancy and collect anything you want. Now, if you want to grow in it right away, this is kitchen scraps. This has got papaya in here and banana peels, squash, eggshells, coffee grinds in everything. If you weren't going to grow in it right away, you can dump it anywhere, on the top or anywhere. But if you want to grow in it right away, and I do, I'm going to put it about halfway from the top. So this way, by the time the plants are ready to grow and set the roots down, this will start to break down just a little bit. So I'm going to load this up and I'm going to put this, I'm going to get some wood chips. I want to get some wood chips and then put this in and then we're going to plant this thing. And I'm going to show you how you can have a raised bed for under five bucks. Like I said, this was free. The only thing that's going to cost me is the, is the potting soil and then if I want to buy some plants. I'm going to put some cuttings in here. I'm going to put some seeds in here and I'm going to go buy some plants and put some of those in here. Don't worry if you over plant because you can take out the ones you don't want and this way you get a good start. Let me go get the wood chips. So now I've brought over some wood chips. This is just broken down wood chips. I'm going to move that around in there. I'm going to add in the kitchen scraps. This is just ready to go. I'm going to put some more broken down wood chips. If you don't have wood chips, you probably don't. Use potting soil. Now, I'm going to top the rest with potting soil. That's all there is to it. So I've got wood chips. I've got stuff from the house, paper towels. I've got my potting soil. That's it. I now have a raised bed. I didn't have to go buy anything at all. Just the potting soil. I got this really cheap and they had it on clearance because this company went out of business. So I got this really, really cheap. Just put that down there. Dump this in here. I don't need, I don't need the whole bag, but I'm just going to put some of it in here. And now this thing is ready to plant. And it's got the best stuff. It's got kitchen scraps, stuff from the garden, and you can always add to it. Now, if I want, I can make one of those movable compost in place containers in here. Or, that's all I need. Or I could just compost right in here. There's multiple ways I can do this. If I compost with a compost container in here, then I'm going to take away some of the space, some of my growing space. And I want to plant a bunch of stuff in this one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just move the soil away when I want, and I'm just going to throw kitchen scraps in here. I won't really need to add anything for a while because there's so much. But if I wanted to, I could. And I could make the movable one and sit it in here, and then I can move it in or out. We'll see. We're going to come back and see what I do. But that is it. Now I do have to drill the holes. The reason I didn't drill the holes, see, I can layer. I am going to layer. I always layer so there'll be a pot on top with something growing in here. I'm going to have something growing in here. I'm going to go get my plants. We're going to set this up together. We're going to see how we're going to do it. The reason I did not drill the holes yet is because I'm deciding where I want the water to go. And I believe that I'm going to drill the holes here and I'm going to have the water cascade down here. Now I could move the chair over and have it going here, but I think for now I'm going to put a bucket there, drill my drain holes there. Remember, you want this to drain good. It won't be draining on the chair. It's going to be draining into that bucket. I can either collect that water and water my other plants, 
or I can put it back in here, or I can put a plant down there. There's so many things you can do with this. But look at this, a raised bed with a tub that you can pick up at the thrift store for $2. You could get it for free. People throw these things away because they have no lids. Or you can go to, to any of the other stores. They only cost like five bucks new. The chair, people throw them away. I see them on the sides of the streets all the time. A chair and that's it. So it's either, it'll either cost you nothing or the whole thing will cost you less than 10 bucks. With that, with this, with that, you won't need anything else. And if you don't want to invest in plants, get some cuttings from somebody that's got a nice garden or just put seeds in here. That's all you need. But I made a raised bed in what, in a matter of minutes. So let's get the plants. I'm gonna come back and show you how we're gonna do the plants. And this is gonna be fun. This is a tiny place for a big garden that's gonna bring you in a lot of money and food. Remember, greens are the most expensive vegetable that you can buy at the grocery store. And you could grow all kinds of stuff in here. So let's go get the plants and see what happens next. So this is it. This is the best raised bed I think I have ever made and container gardening. It is so easy to do. I love it. I'm gonna be picking up chairs everywhere because all you have to do is add in what you want and then you know all your potting mix you can compost in place there and then you put in the plants you want. I went to the nursery, they were out, they said it's too hot. So I took cuttings from my yard, I planted garlic chives, I planted a whole bunch of baby walking onions, I put in stevia, I put in um, dinosaur kale, and I added in at the end, I added in seeds from the garden because I've got lettuce seeds growing, you know, lettuce is growing seeds, and I've got red vein sorrel, yeah, I've got so many seeds, I'm going to see a whole bunch of stuff come up. But I expect everybody to go start picking up chairs and, and spread the word on this because there's no excuse why somebody cannot have a garden. This is going to be a big garden in a little place on a chair and the chair is so strong. This is going to be great. You can put it on a driveway. You can put it on a patio. You can put it on wood, cement. I'm going to put some on the ground. I'm going to spread them all over. Who knows? Gary might even put one in the middle of his swimming pools, but this has just been the greatest thing and so much fun. And chairs, you're going to save the environment. People are throwing those things away and they end up at the dump. Don't let a chair end up at the dump. Do something with it. Make a beautiful garden if you want, add flowers. I've got a million and one ideas on what I'm gonna be doing with this. So ask questions, be sure to share this video to get your friends to do this. I actually ended up using my soldering iron to make the holes, but you can drill holes with a drill. I directed the water where I wanted it to go. I still may put a plant underneath it. Right now I'm just collecting the water. There's. The sky's the limit with this. You could do anything you want. I could stick in a, a stick in there and hang a hummingbird feeder in there with the plants as well. You know, like a shepherd's hook. There's so many things you can do. So please subscribe if you haven't, but the most important thing is share this video. Look how beautiful it looks at the front door. A chair out of the trash, a container out of the trash, and now I'm layering and growing food. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.